Today I'm going to be reading Beautiful, so let's get started. Finally, the weekend. Is it too clitch to say T-G-I-F? Hi, Lily. Hey, Ariel. Now she's trying to be friendly. The Lynx girl, Ignama, continues. What's up, Lily Put? Z girl. So you ready for the trip? What trip? Don't tell me you haven't signed up for the science class trip yet. I'm on, only going for the kayaking and rock climbing and stuff. I'm not exactly the most athletic person in the world. There'll be cute boys there from senior classes too. So more anthropological study than science trip. Plus, I heard Jake is one of the activity leaders. Jake, oh, I'm totally zen about all that now. I'm practically enlightened. Back at home. Geez, they're all blowing up my phone about the trip. Big, big freaking deal. I'm going to write some before bed. Journaling's been great for getting down my thoughts and feelings. Friday. As we speak, Zeta and friends are going bananas group texting about the science trip. Turns out Z's boyfriend, Tag, can't go because he caught the flu. And that leaves a spot open for me, who completely forgot about the whole thing anyway. I mean, seriously, coming camping at our age, now it was... Now, it, 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 now, if it was a hotel on a beach in Mexico or Hawaii, I'd be all over that. But mosquitoes, bed bugs, and wiping your nether regions with a leaf? You gotta be kidding me. Hold on, incoming text message, sender unknown. No way, is that who I think it is, te it is texting me? Tap, tap, hi there, hi. It's Jake here, got a spare sleeping bag? Simple enough question, but you know I have to analyze this to death. I can't take it. Jake just texted me and only me to ask if I've got a spare sleeping bag. Never mind that I might actually have one. There will be pretty much guaranteeing, guaranteeing we'll need to meet up. Why is he asking me out of all people? One, has already asked everyone else who's going. Two, is a total cheapskate who can't afford his own stuff. Three, is making up an excuse to contact me, my preferred choice for all of the above. Who cares? I exist to him. I'm in his phone. And now I just got to decide if I want to do this reality show endurance test that is camping with a bunch of near strangers in log cabins. Survivor, anyone? Why has mankind gone to all the trouble of adv advancing out of cave dwellings and fender, fending off saber-toothed tigers only to go back and live in the dirt? Makes no sense to me, but love will make you do strange things. I'm going to find that extra sleeping bag if it kills me, or at least until I'm sleepy. We leave at dawn, actually Monday noonish. Room age dawn, and maybe I'll check in the basement. And Lily wins the first challenge. Man makes plans and God laughs. Monday noonish. Hey Zeta, didn't think I'd make it, did ya? So you found that extra sleeping bag? I might have just managed to squeeze it in my case, yeah? Yay, I'm so glad you're coming. Which bus are we on? Apparently the one from 1989. So we got about three hours on this clunker. We should discuss who we want in our cabin. Let's pick people who are fun and easygoing. No drama queens and no sorers. The twins. Sue and Lo would be perfect. Quiet as mice. A tad boring, perhaps. But the loudest noise you'll hear is the video game sound effect coming through their headphones. Booker. Babby Bookman. Another ideal candidate. She's always buried in a novel of the Charlotte Bronte Jane Austen Verity. Bonus. She'll be worse than all at. She'll be worse than me at all the all things outdoorsy. Links girl. The beautiful and mysterious Ariel Hinks. What do I really know about her? Neat, tidy, polite. Has been willing to share her math homework on occasion, but is she totally stuck up or or just plain shy? No, I can't do it. Links girl's out. I don't need to be all that. I don't need to be around all that perfection day and night. She's probably gets up at six and sings. Yeah, definitely no morning people. How about Jennifer? You mean Wrigley? Wrigley, the best thing about Jennifer Wigglesmorph, her enormous supply of junk food. Not only that, she doesn't give a flying who about what everyone, anyone thinks of her, which is just as well. She bought an entire backpack of chocolate chip cookies. In that case, it's a no-brainer. We got one heck of all-girl tribe. This is going to be the best trip ever. Whoa, for a minute I thought, nah. I'm just imagining things, as usual. Wink. Welcome to Camp Grady, our palatational, our palatial, 
are past the Chase old residence. Pick up your cabin keys over here, guys. More like Camp Grody. Oh, look, there's our holding cell, Cabin H. At least we got here first. Yeah, dibs on whack. Top bunks. This is fun. It's like a big sleepover, both jailhouse beds and crappy food. I just need to get the sleeping bag to Jake. Why don't you text him right now, Lil? What's up, girls? Got room for two more? Chip bags, chip bag doubles uh, as rotation, flotation device. Girls we asked the sheriff us showed up and they don't mind being on the bottom bunks. Booker looks like she meant to sign up for the English trip and Wrigley has brought us the biggest bag of science of sour cream potato chips known to man. I think we're all going to get along great. Apparently, the twins bought a tent, which is good because we only have four beds. More power to him for roughing it. I'll take our spar and what weatherproof prisoner cell block H any day. Thanks very much. Should I text Jake just like that? Must totally sound cool and casual or perhaps even professional. Geez, how, how about I learn to relax? Uh, but how? So this place is pretty basic, huh? Yep. I'm kind of looking forward to the activities, though. Not me. I'm gonna stay. I have a code and finish my book. I'll try anything once. It beats going to class. How about you and Lou camping under the stars? Do you wanna... Do you guys wanna go see the setup? Crunch. Sorry, can I gotta go do something? Tap, tap. She has to see her man. Zeta! He's not my man. Whatever, so when are you seeing him? He texted me back. He's coming over in 30 minutes. Oh, well, we're going to check on the twins. What now? Zeta, you have to be here when he comes. No way, I'll be a third wheel. Anyway, you're a totally zen about this now, remember? Did I really say that garbage? See you later in the dining hall, Lil. No big deal, Lily. You've got this. You're only handing over a sleeping bag to a person. This person's name is Jack. Jake. This doesn't have to become a big dramatist. It's simple. The more you can be yourself, the better. Your real self, of course. You can choose how you feel, right? Change your thoughts. Thoughts. Change your world. Something like that. OMG, this is sounding like a motivational speaker pitch. I need to chill out. That's all. I've heard guided meditation is a thing. Gloop. Ah, uh, yes. Breathe in. Breathe out. You are relaxed and peaceful. Soothing chimes. I'm good enough. I'm smart enough. And gosh darn it, no idea how people find this position comfortable. Wait, that's not the, on the recording. You're wasting time. You should get ready. Did you put any mascara on? You should change your hair. You have a nicer sweatshirt than that. Stop. This is just a monkey mind. Let all thoughts simply flow by. Ta tune into the blissful music. Sense into the radiant beauty of your inner being. T Tibetan bells. Oh, now I'm in the zone. Nothing could deserve this. Ah, he says he's nearly here already. Oh, my God. This, there he is in, it, in all his super cuteness. Okay, I'm good with all that inner beauty stuff, but I still need to check my hair. Well, it's, it's too late to style it. I need an express route to hair control. Pigtails, a bun, boing. Well, that didn't work. Unfortunately, every auction has an equal and opposite reaction. Come on, come on, hurry up, Lily. Knock, knock. Jake, nice hat. Thanks, or uh, welcome to my humble abode. It's super rustic here. Aw, uh, he said rustic. Totally. Is that spa music? I don't know. So random, he huh? Anyway, here's your sleeping bag. Thanks for the lo loaner, Lily. I'm in, in cabin J if you need anything. J for Jake, that's easy. Yep, want to head over to the dining hall? Wow, it's like our first dinner date. What's happening at the entrance? Uh-oh, looks like we have to go off the grid. Oh, man, goodbye, little friend, Plunk. Wow, now this trip gets real. Monday p.m. You're not going to believe this, dear diary. I met up with Jake today, and it was awesome. He was so nice, and except for a minor hair snafu, definitely taken care of with a ball cap. I felt pretty relaxed. Maybe it was the Buddhist controlled breathing. Gregorian chants, Hindu chakar wind chimes, or the yo yo yoga jik twisting of my legs into a pretzel. Who knows? But in the end, I had this feeling that it's okay to just be me. It was easy to be with, with him. Isn't that how you know it's meant to be? Oh, and so much for the twins braving elements. They didn't even come to the dinner hall because they barbecued their own food, drink sparkly water, and watch the sunset from their lawn chairs. Ahem, I believe that's called glamping, not camping. 
I, re I have a really good feeling about this. It's all going to work out with Jake and me. So I'm going to stop here. I hope you enjoy my video. Please subscribe to our channel. Bye.